Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last month, around about the 21st of April, I posted a video to let you know that Microsoft was pushing out once again the Windows 10 and Windows 11 update, KB4023057, which was rolling out to prepare PCs for future updates, which it is known to do. And just to let you know once again that in my region, um, the update has been installed once again on both my Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices, KB4023057, which was installed earlier today on the 11th of May. And if you want more info regarding this update, um, just do a search on the channel because I have posted quite a few uh, videos previously. Now, just a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, because this is actually an important update for Windows 10 and Windows 11, and especially now for Windows 11, because we are heading towards the next um, feature drop update, which is called Moment 3 for Windows 11, as many of you would know. Now, this is a regular update that Microsoft um, pushes out for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And it's a compulsory mandatory update that will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. And it's a small update, and really it just takes a couple of seconds to download and install. And in most cases, you will not have to restart your device after the update has been applied. And the update itself cannot be uninstalled, so just take note of that. Now, what the update also does as I have posted previously. If we head to our apps, installed apps, it includes and installs the Microsoft Update Health Tools, which is this small little tool. So if we scroll down and we get to Microsoft Update Health Tools, um, it's around about one megabyte in size. So it's a small tool. And um, this tool is included with the update. Now, although the update itself cannot be uninstalled, this tool can. So for whatever reason, you can uninstall this tool, but if you do, just take note the next time the update does roll out, which it does on a regular basis, it will just reinstall the tool. So just take note of that. And this update health tools, what it does is it addresses issues that affect the update processes in Windows 10 and Windows 11 that may prevent important Windows updates and feature updates from being installed. So it does um, apply a couple of maintenance tasks, which I have posted on previously, and I'm not going to get to again in this video um, but just go check it out. Do a search on the channel for that update if you want more info about the maintenance tasks that the update does carry out, if it does find issues on your system. Now, um, it doesn't surprise me once again that Microsoft is starting to push this update out mainly to Windows 11 because, as I have mentioned uh, previously, um, the third wave of new features, Moment 3, is expected to start rolling out in the fourth week of this month, around about two weeks' time at the end of May, um, following over and moving into June of 2023. So obviously um, this update is now rolling out um, um, to improve the reliability of the Windows Update Service components and to address those issues that may affect um, those future updates and feature updates from rolling out. So obviously Microsoft starting to ready, especially Windows 11 22H2 for that Moment 3 update feature drop. So that's a good reason and why I think Microsoft once again uh, is starting to push this update out more regularly and on a frequent basis because yeah, you can see on the 5th of April it was also installed on my Windows 11 device and yeah, on the 11th of May once again being reinstalled. So a good indication that Microsoft is getting things ready once again for Moment 3. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.